Can you see the flag? That's where the hole is, babe. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Just aim at the hole. <laughs> Just go to your home. <laughs> Welcome back to the Midnight Ride, and oh look, we're actually not headed west today to Las Vegas, which is sad, but it's also happy because we are heading south to Florida to go visit our granddaughter. And oh, by the way, my name is Chris, and I'm Catherine. Let's go. Well, we finally made it to Florida, and one of my favorite stops as a kid when I was on road trips with my family was the official welcome center of the state of Florida. And that was for two reasons. Number one, it was a big milestone on the trip, and it meant we were even closer to our destination, like Walt Disney World. But also at the welcome center, they handed out free samples of Florida orange juice. So we'd always grab that, and I would always walk out of there with fistfuls of travel brochures to mess up the car with, which I'm sure would get on my nerves now and probably got on my parents' nerves back then, but I'll probably still grab some brochures while we're in here. There's all kinds of wildlife on the property. You never know what you're going to see. So, the speed limit is 23 miles an hour. I would be very careful here for people and birds. We have finally made it to our home for the week, which is the Holiday Inn Club Vacations at Orange Lake Resort. And we are staying in unit 3662 in the North Village. We have a two bedroom unit. Off to the right is bedroom number one. Looks like a king, at least. Could be a super king, it looks pretty big. You have a nice window looking out onto your patio area screened in. Two nightstands on either side, a nice sitting chair, some artwork, and your closet. It is not a walk-in, but it's suitable for the week. You also have your safe down there. And you have outlets on both sides of the bed. Not a lot of places to plug in right by the bed, but what do you have on this side? The alarm clock has two more outlets and two USB ports, so that's nice. You also have a little working desk right in the bedroom and a full length mirror a nice chest of drawers, and a flat screen TV. And then we have the master bathroom. It does have a door that closes it off from the bedroom. It has a two sink vanity area with two cabinets on either side. A decent sized tub. I don't know that we're both going to get in there, but we might try. A very large, much larger than the other room, a shower. And your toilet area that has a door as well. Now over on the other side, you have your full-size washer and dryer. You have a full bath. Well, 
I guess this is like a three-quarter bath because it doesn't have a, t a tub. But you have your toilet. Is there a light for the shower? No. Wow, no light Not for either one of them. in the shower. Noted. It's going to be dark in there. Um, it's a pretty tight space, this second shower, but definitely enough room for one person. You have a one vanity sink area with two cabinets. And then your second bedroom, right off the bathroom. It has two, looks like double beds. Nice size. That'll come in handy if our granddaughter winds up staying here because she will inevitably request that we, one of us sleep with her. There's a nice chest of drawers and another TV and a closet where we have stored all of her birthday presents. How cute is that dress? And going back out to the main entry, we have a closet off to the left where your ironing board and iron, broom, mop, vacuum are stored. And then you have your main area with a nice dining area, some bench, cushion bench seating in the back, and four chairs. You have your living area, two chairs and a sofa. Why don't you go see if that sofa, sofa has a bed, honey? And then your little, I guess, is this considered an entertainment center with the TV on the wall? Yeah, it does. Okay, so the sofa does mm -hmm. pull into a bed if you have more people and you have some storage area here, a DVD player, and more storage here. And then you have this amazing kitchen. I love this bar. All of this counter space is amazing. I wish we had it in our house. But a full kitchen, dishwasher, obviously your sink, your stove, and your microwave, uh, coffee maker, teapot, toaster, and blender, all of the glasses and dishes you might need during your stay, as well as all your cookware. They did provide, looks like one packet of coffee, but we will go to the grocery store and buy our own. You have your full size fridge and freezer. And your pantry where your trash can and I'm assuming recycling can live. And your fire extinguisher. So that is pretty much the inside and then you will either have a screened in porch or a balcony and this is what that looks like it's a pretty nice size area and we happen to be all the way at the back of the property overlooking part of one of their many golf courses this place is huge it has several different villages. Um, like I said, we're in the North Village. We passed the West on our way in. And it has so many things for the kids. They have several restaurants on site. It's a really nice um, property for families. And full disclosure, they will try to get you to attend a timeshare presentation while you are here in order to get either a credit at the property like they offered me $120 um, if I would attend a 90 minute session, which I politely declined. But just be aware that's gonna happen when you check in, most likely. Have 
the activities outpost in case you forgot your schedule of activities. This is a huge area. Very nice. Large pools. There's some pool volleyball set up back there. Plenty of lounge chairs. This looks like a children's pool. I think I see Paisan Pizzeria back there in the center. Looks like there's a little mini water slide back there at the end of that pool. Plenty of walkways. There are cabanas that you can reserve as well. Definitely would need one in the shade somewhere. So these umbrellas would be where I would want to sit. This is where I'd be chilling out most likely by these little waterfalls. This is a really, really nice area. And this is just one of the many um, pool areas at this property. Let's go check out the pizza place. Chris is very interested in having pizza. Cute little sitting area and outside dining area here. Does not appear to be open right now, I don't think, or maybe it is. Okay, so I think we are heading in the right direction. Tower Arcade, this way. Cute little sun shop. Bling bling. Just a little arcade, but it's cute. And you can see the prices there. Oh, look at that, a prize vending machine. So I guess you just redeem your points and you can select your prize. That is pretty awesome. That's Looks a lot like a slot machine, doesn't it? Getting our kids ready at an early age for the casinos. We are going to check out the River Island area of the resort. Oh, I see the rock wall, yeah. Cool. Splash Shack. So this is where you do your tube rentals, cabana rentals. I believe that is also where you purchase your multi-day passes for all the attractions. Really big slide over there. You can see? Yeah, very nice. It is, yeah. That's awesome. Thanks. It's the DJI Pocket 2 little kitty area. Very cute. So you can see the tubes off there to the left. have some hair wrap stations and sand art. I see the lazy river. Very cool. So you can just go in the lazy river like these folks without a tube. That is absolutely free. And if you want to rent a tube, um, I believe there are nine, I believe it's $9 a day maybe if you don't have a pass um, of course you can get discounted passes for three days or seven days while you're here um, it, actually the last time I was here I went in without a tube and there were many tubes just floating alone so I commandeered one <laughs> and got away without paying uh, pro tip right here on the middle of your ride <laughs> But you can see, I mean, this we, this is only the second pool area that we have explored so far. There is so many places. There are so many places to see here. Um, 
I was looking at the brochure earlier and there's actually some water sports in another village. So we will take a look at that at some point. Really any age uh, is, is accommodated by all of the facilities here. There's something to do for every age. Really a remarkable place. stop at Paisan's Pizzeria, which is in the Splash Lagoon area in the North Village. Um, we're planning to get pizza, but it's late. We needed a bite, and so we decided to pick up some subs, sandwiches. Um, I got the Turkey Club, and at first glance, um, I mean, I'm a little disappointed in the size. I thought it would be a lot bigger for, you know, this is $24 for the two of us and hopefully it'll be better than it looks. Just right off the bat, the, the bread isn't, it's toasted, but it's not very crisp. I can pretty much only taste the bacon. The bread isn't really anything special. And the french fries are standard. So this is what you're gonna get if you order a sandwich at Paisan Pizzeria. And I got the chicken parm. I mean, chicken's fine. The breading's kind of soggy. It's not much cheese or uh, marinara on it. I would travel on down the road to uh, go get some food. Finally getting to play golf after a long week. No idea where that went. How long has it been since you've played golf, honey? A very long time. A very long time. <clears throat> He's just warming up. I love when he does that. But I'm a creeper. Killer squirrels. That's on the green. Yay! Success! Nice. <laughs> Can you give us a thumbs up? <laughs> Best view on the golf course right here. Quiet on the green, please. There we go. Good job, honey. Par. Par. Par is good. Par is good. Yay. And the crowd goes wild. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Coming up on some wildlife here. And I'm not going to get very close because those are some big birds. They might not look like it. Oh my god. What's in the tree? Oh, oh, oh. I can't look up. But I can hear it. Please don't come after my head, as many birds do. That sucked. Well, can you see the flag? That's where the hole is, babe. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Just aim at the hole. <laughs> Just go to your home. <laughs> <laughs> if you're having fun, that's all that matters. You don't have to be good at everything. That's the lesson of this video. A lot of people play golf to have fun. 
but you have to have fun to play golf. Okay, I'm going to think on that for a while. <laughs> that is a little deep for me after two drinks and a whole week of work. Aim for the hole, babe. Cool. Uh oh. If it makes you feel any better, I love that you're not doing very well. I love you either way, is what I meant to say. But it's pretty cute. <laughs> Those are going to be bleep, bleep, bleeps. Yay! Pretty sure we have five more holes of this, folks. Jump for alligators. Seriously, you all, if, if I even feel like there might be an alligator, this pocket's gonna wind up in the, in the swamp. I will throw it at the gator to distract it while they run away. And if any of you have not been watching us long and don't know, I am a city girl. I do not like the outdoors very much. I don't like bugs. I don't like wild animals. I like looking at them from the car, like at the safari. Yeah, that's her place right up there. Oh, hey. So this tea, what is this, the fifth? I believe it's the fifth? Yes. Yes. So the fifth tea ends up right at our unit. You can see it in the distance. So if we need to stop home for a second, we can do that. Take a bathroom break. Hey, that's perfect. It's right in the middle. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Reed? It's bound to happen sooner or later. There's a lot of sand on this little par three. And uh, it, the greens are guarded pretty well by these sand traps. So. This should be interesting. <laughs> shame of it is that it actually wasn't too bad. <sighs> there we go. Might be there. We're looking for Chris's ball. He thought it cleared the sand trap, but we do not see it. There it is. Uh oh. Yay! Wowee! <gasps> that was good, honey. <sighs> Why couldn't it just go in? What do you want to say? <laughs> well, that was fun and not too terribly bad. Um, could have been way worse. It's been two or three years since I played an actual round of golf, so could have been worse. And actually a pretty nice little walk, a really nice little par three course if you're over here at Orange Lake Resort. And the price wasn't too bad. It's like $16.50, which is not bad at all, really. And they give you a free rolly cart. So what would you say if people haven't played for a while, the par three, nine hole is challenging enough to start out at? If you haven't played in a while, I would make sure that you know how to get out of the sand because you'll probably get in it. At some point, there's a lot of sand on this little course. 
And just like that, our trip to Florida is done. We got up really early this morning, like around four o'clock to head out. A couple more things about Orange Lake Resort. It's in a really great location. It is a really nice property. The unit's really nice, but it is not made for comfort. You know, but you are in a good location and it is a nice, safe, secure place. It's very close to Disney. There are all kinds of amenities and restaurants on property just outside off property just through the gates you have everything you need from restaurants to shopping to medical treatment whatever it is so if you like this video hit the thumbs up button be sure to subscribe if you haven't already hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video and we will see you on the next episode of the midnight ride